the mystery and the purpose of dream. Glory be to God. Now, dream is a spiritual technology that we must, all of us must understand for us to be able to achieve our goal and our life and our inheritance in this world. The number one person, number one dreamer is God himself. Everything you see today, including you and me, we are dream of God. We are dream of God. The heaven and the earth is a dream from God. So we are part of the dream of God. Everything you see today is a dream. And let me make it very clear to you. There is no difference between dream and reality. If your dream has not become reality, it's because you have not wake up to you have not wake up to yourself. You are not conscious of it yet. When you become conscious, then the dream becomes reality. You see, all this struggling, all this is just our problem is our mindset. We have been conditioned. That's why he told us, do not be conformed. We have been conditioned. We believe this is the way that it must be. That's not the way. It shouldn't be that way. There is a way. God said, my way are not your way, says the Lord. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Those are dreams. The thought of God is his dream. The way of God is God's dream. And God said, you have gone out of my way. You have gone out of my thought. You have followed the thought of this world. You have been conditioned. But today, you will be released in the name of Jesus. I said today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will be released in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So when God creates man in the book of Genesis chapter 2, God dream. Now God has created a man to represent him. And if that man is created in the image of God who is a dreamer, then man must dream. God created the heaven and the earth. The Bible said the earth was with void, was void and formless. Then God went into deep and begin to bring out what is in his vision, in his dream. Let there be light. Let there be this. He was speaking out his dream. And then his dream began to appear. Listen to me very carefully. This is not just an ordinary message. This is a message that will revolutionize your life. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> because as I'm here, the Holy Ghost is speaking to me. What I'm telling you is not in any book anywhere in the world. It's from the throne of grace. So in Genesis chapter 2, maybe we should read from verse 18. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God said, mm -hmm. It is not good that man should be alone. That's right. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Mm -hmm. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air. And brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. Can you see the dream of God? Are you following this dream of the Almighty God? In the dream of God that it is not good for a man to be alone. If he's alone, something will be missing in his life. It's not good. I want him perfect. I want him complete. Go ahead, my sister. And whatever Adam called each living creature. That's right. That was its name. That was its name. Yes, go ahead. So Adam gave names uh -huh. to all cattle. That's right. To the birds of the air uh -huh. and to every beast of the field. That's right. But for Adam, uh -huh. there was not found a helper comparable to him. God has a mission. God want to show you something. God want to plan something in your life. I want to teach you to operate like me. I want to show you how to operate like God. According to the dream of God in that verse 18, it is not good for a man to be alone. But God knows that it's not good. But God is about to teach man. It's about to show him his dream. That if you can dream the way I dream, you will get something done. God looked deep and said, no, no, no. It is not good for a man to be alone. Then, this same God brought every living creature to the same man to name them. And he named them. And according, the Bible says, man could not find a helpmate. God already see in his dream that he need help. So now, with the mind of Christ, with the mind of God, God, man, was able to know that something is missing in my life. What did God do when this thing was missing in his life? What will you do if something is missing in your life? What will you do? How to accomplish this purpose? This is the mystery I want to show you this morning. The mystery to recover your dream. To recover what God 
to recover the mind of God, to recover the vision of God for your life, to recover it. That's what I want to show you. That's what I want to present to you. Read on, my sister. Verse 21. Yes. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall to, on Adam. I want to listen to that very well now. There was no help made for him. He need an help made. And he has named everything. Everything you are looking around in, the, in Maryland, in Virginia, in D.C., in everywhere. You can't find your house. You can't find your car. You can't find your business. You can't find your inheritance. You can't find, you know you, you know this thing's part of your life, but you can't just not find it. You can't just find it. It looks like everything is everywhere, but you can't find it. What do you do to find it? That's what God is bringing before you this day. God caused man to fall into a deep sleep. And he slept. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs. Listen to me. Because, uh, you know, the way you read the Bible sometimes, you, know, you won't get it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spiritual book. It's not English. Why would God put him to sleep? God put him to sleep to dream. He put him to sleep. And inside this dream, Adam saw. You know the way you see in the dream, sometimes you see something in the dream. You see yourself somewhere, you see yourself somewhere, you see yourself talking to Bracken in the dream, it's in his house. How can you be seeing him now? And in that dream, he saw himself open. And then in that dream, a rib was brought out of him. See Johnny in that dream. And then in that dream, God turned the rib into a woman. And in that dream, this man discovered, said, this is my wife. This is what is missing in my life. I find it. The Bible said, the people of the world are wiser. I tell people, that should get your attention. That should get your attention. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of me. That should get your attention. That what you are reading is not enough. You need to go deeper. This Christianity you are doing is not enough. You need to go deeper in it. That's why I say we must research. How can the researcher of the world are researching and bringing phone out? And they are making money and they are the richest people. And we are like beggar. That story is about to change. I said that story is about to change. If you ask those who do research, it's not just, uh, they go deeper. I remember many years ago, uh, my wife went to Washington State. They took us around and was showing us something about how the plane were discovered. They said there was this group of people and they locked them in a room and then they make a, a paper, a folded paper. You know the thing we normally do in the we were children, they fold the paper, and the person was up there and throw the cart, and the thing flew and dropped on the ground. And he told them, I want you to go and sit down and think and imagine that something that we do like that, that can carry a woman being. And they go into that exercise for maybe for months or for years. You don't know, you know, you read this scripture. It's God told Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of your system. Meditate. Think deep. Meditation is, is, is more deeper than thinking. Think deep. When I think about the world, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I was telling one of my daughters, my father in the Lord sent me a test, and he said, this woman, the woman sent him to that is sick. All his body, he couldn't play from head to toe. The, the test was very powerful. And I said, this is very early in the morning, around 2, 1 a.m. I can't call this person at this time. And I said, no, no, you call it. You, you just call anything you want to call. <laughs> and then I did like Jesus. I didn't call all days. You understand? I said, well, I am an apprentice. I, I, I learned from Jesus. I was not anxious. She's not going to die. Because when you go to hospital, doctor don't appear to you immediately. They make you wait in the emergency room for hours. Uh -huh. Are you getting me now? And then by the time I pick him at once, to pick my call. And I said, my sister, listen very carefully. I am not, I said, I've already prayed for you, but now I want to minister to you. When I was saying that, I don't know what I want to do. I didn't know. I didn't write anything I want to go do. But I come a different frequency. The frequency where things are revealed. And the Holy Spirit began to reveal to me that well, this is what is wrong in our system. That our body are contained cells. And there is commotion. The cells are, are hitting each other. Uh -huh. They are just misfortuning and doing whatever they want to do. And that, that's what is called causing the pain in our body. I didn't know. I wasn't a, I'm not a doctor. I didn't know whether that was, what, that was right uh, medically. But I know spiritually it was right. And then 
Let me tell you what to do. That's it now. That's it. The person is far away in a different state. That's it. Listen to me. God put man to sleep to be able to change the course of his life. When in the month of dream, you must be doer of the world. Cause man to sleep. What, was, what looked like was no read that was not available appear. When you go to this frequency, things appear. Things change. That is the realm where things change. That is the realm where water will change to wine, where water will change to blood. That's where the realm, where the rod will change into. They say, they say the Egyptians, by their manipulation, do you understand what that means? They change the rod to, to something too. You are too, you are living in a very free world, too much. This low world, this world, this world you are living in is too, is, is too low than your standard. You are, you are living between, the level is too low. Like public, we are in a public school level. Come out of it. Come out of it. There is a realm there that you need to see. A realm of all possibilities is always there forever. And then man, one man now turned to two. How will one man turn to two? Mystery, mystery of the kingdom. You come here this morning. If there's anything wrong with your system, maybe some cells, you know, they say, they say, you know this body, you don't, you think, when you look at this body, you don't, the science has tried, but they can't understand it. They say there are trillions of cells. That's why we, they, say, they told that woman, they say, there are two nations in you, two nations. You don't know what's called a nation? So inside of me, as I'm here, I'm not just one person. Look at me like that, like that. I'm too much like that. It's like now, if there is war in Gettysburg, what, how will you feel? You know, you're going to stay in your house. That's what was going on in the body of that woman. There are sides there. Maybe they are shooting each other inside, inside his body. Then, the body becomes vibrate and there is, the body is hot now. It's hot. You, the pressure has gone high because there is war going on inside the body. I don't know. I mean, science will, they can agree with me. They can, maybe it's okay. But if they don't, maybe they will be there one day if they if not get it yet. It's a, it's, a, it's a high level. So sometimes when things are grown in your body, there are things that medication can handle. There are things that medication can pass medication. But when you make an announcement into that body, like, the, like a referee, you put your whistle in your mouth. And you mention to everybody running up and down, in the name of Jesus. Remember, God has given you a name that is above every name. When you blow that whistle, everybody stand by and say, what's going on? <laughs> I don't want to give you a red card. He said, no, that's what, that's, that's what I've come to give to you. You have to leave, you have to leave this body now. You know, legions of spirits. Those spirits, uh, they, they, are, they are like cells. I think the, the, doc, the doctor call it bacteria. Is it bacteria you call it? Uh, bad bacteria. Those, those legions, they are spirits. They are, they are living things. I mean, cells are not living things. They are living things. They, uh, they are living things. You call them cells. They are not cells. You can. It's a good. It's a good name to to call it. Make it look good. But when you blow that whistle, in the name of Jesus, everybody will will stay cover. Peter said, "In the name of Jesus, I command you to walk." What is holding that guy from walking? Walk out of the body. When you see people that are not able to walk, something is holding them, and the thing is in the, it's inside. It's not outside. Because if it's outside, it can't it can't stop you. When it enters into your body, it can, it can do whatever you want to do in your body. But I decree today, every strange cell, strange spirit, every strange thing in your body, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command them to run and fly out of your body in the name of Jesus. It's a name that's above any other name. You know, technology... Us, our civilization has made us look like we don't know what we are doing. I was telling one of my daughter, I said, now we have our phone. Are you getting me now? We have our phone. And then inside the phone, as you carry it, there is a waste inside. It's waste in your phone. Uh -huh. So if you, if you put it on now, the thing will begin to talk, even though you didn't move anywhere. Are you getting me? I said, these are not new technology. They are not new things. I know one baba called... Baba Ojo, yeah, in my, in my country. The Baba has one wood. They call it Shigede. One day, in my eyes, not that I story, he hit the thing like this. And the thing begins to say, Ew! just like the like uh, waste we say. I mean, waste is not talking your phone. So they just modernize this and make it still. It's the same thing yesterday, forever and forever more. There are things that eyes have not seen. 
that has not yet entered into the heart of man. You are sleeping now. The phone is with you. You don't know the phone is with you. You are sitting there. You think you are... So a lot of things are watching you that you don't see. <laughs> are you getting me now? A lot of things are watching you that you don't see. I've told you a story one day when... Uh, not one time, two times, maybe three times, that I'm sleeping on my bed. My wife is sleeping on... We are sleeping on the same bed. Not the different bed, the same bed. And his phone is somewhere there. My phone is somewhere. And my phone is ringing. And I say, ah, who is calling me at this time? Guess who is calling me? My wife's phone. Yes, sir. Not one time, not two times, not three times. I say, no, no. This has to stop every monitoring spirit that is dialing my wife's phone to call me when we are both here. It's, you have to be sensitive in the spirit. You take your life too casual. That's why things are not working for you. But from today, everything will be working for you. I say, as from today, everything will be working for you. Those monitoring spirit today, they will be blind in the mighty name of Jesus. That's how I put a stop to it forever. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, 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 it can't happen. First time I say, ah, what is this? I just say, no, I don't feel like sleep. Second time again, ah, around 1.30 a.m., this woman is sleeping. They will do something, oh, no, it may be uh, misfunctioning of the app. No, no, I don't take that thing from you. <laughs> which how can he malfunction which malfunction dialing my number I block that number forever it will never ring again glory be to God the mystery of dream <laughs> and the purpose <laughs> glory to God you must be alert oh. you must be alert uh, you are too um, you know church people are too casual they are too casual so, uh, you see this beautiful and pretty lady giving you testimony eh? that, that should make your head straight that uh, ah if this sophisticated lady is, is so spiritual like this, I must be spiritual. Are you getting me? I must be spiritual. Don't play with your life. Don't play with your life. Help me tell somebody, don't play with your life. Yeah. Don't play with your life. <laughs> Glory be to God. Okay, let me read this scripture to you. Revelation chapter 20. <laughs> you see how things, things are working, you don't know. It is time. You know, they, they, they brought us a... Uh, a prayer for somebody who is uh, somebody who about 200 people are working for, but nothing is working. Contract has stand still for the past eight years. Somebody who is into oil and gas and all these kind of things. You listen to me very carefully. You don't think I get away from this low level. You are bigger than that. Say, I'm bigger than that. Say, I'm bigger than that. Say, I'm bigger than that. Read this thing so I can rush this thing to you. <laughs> Uh, let's read verse, uh, verse 11. Revelations chapter 20, verse 11. Uh, watch this now, yeah. Then I saw a great white throne. Are you here now? Then my eyes opened. You know the way your eyes all open when you are sleeping? Mm -hmm. My eyes opened. I saw a great white throne. It was a throne. Mm -hmm. You understand? Go ahead. And him uh -huh. who sat on it, yes. from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Are you hearing now? Did you understand that English? I you need something to, someone to interpret it for you. Okay, read it again, ma'am. Then I saw a great white throne. I saw a great white throne. Throne, you know throne now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And him who sat on it. And somebody is sitting on that throne. Yes. From whose face? From whose face? Oh? The earth uh -huh. and the heaven uh -huh. fled away. Don't disappear. And there was found no place for them. Yeah. How do you read this thing? If this thing is in the hand of scientists, they will do something with it. What's wrong with short people? You didn't see it? These are things you go and meditate. Then you, you are moved to a higher level. And then you begin to see things. The earth and the heaven flew. You don't understand flu? Uh -huh. Earth flew. Like, <laughs> I mean... Not a, I'm not saying a household head flew like me. Head flew away. So I, was, I was, I want to lead them in prayer. Then I say, I'm going to lead them in prayer from this, from this place right now. <laughs> because there are principality that are operating on the business of that person. He has people working for him, but nothing. So please take your life serious. Take your life serious. You are working on a thread, on a thread. If the number of people that are wishing me to fail, they succeed, you will meet me here. Imagination. Even in church, imagination of people. If I'm not doing anything, you will meet me here. If I'm not doing anything, you will meet this church here. But we carry a great energy here that can destroy every wickedness in high places. 
And that's why we are going to, to that fasting and prayer. And I want us to do it very well. Let's pray very well. Let's get some results. And you will get it in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will get it in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let me quickly tell you four enemies that can block the dream of God. The dream is already there. Dream of God for your life. Number one is pride. God resists the proud. That's why you need, always need to keep talking to yourself. No matter wherever you get to in life, keep talking to yourself. Every time I keep talking, I say, Shall I let your head be correct. Oh? And then say, don't, don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be saying now uh, uh, you are here and then you have a house or you have a car and then you are right. You better be careful. No, no, but <laughs> here, the boy, Jennifer Vasia told us a story. He said, God told him one day to draw this thing on a, on a, this is a big man uh, that uh, have churches all over the world and camp everywhere all over the world. Can you imagine? Uh, he said, draw it on the jaw. He said, use your leg to wipe it. He said, if you, if you become proud, they will never remember this thing forever. I mean, that man, who, you can imagine me that I'm just a, a pastor in one church here. And now begin to say, you know, you don't know where you know. Where you know when we were you, we had, you know what do we, you know what we're saying? Ah, that day will not come. That's not me. Mm, no, 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 no. So please, pride, pride, pride. And pride, even when you are in a low level, poor people are proud too. You don't need to talk to yourself. Anywhere God place you in life, it's God that place you there. And if you remove his here, you will be. Time will not permit us today to go to that, the book of Daniel chapter 4. Because I really want to see. Dreams are realities. So pride. When you read that book of Daniel chapter 4, then a dream, first dream. Then he dream another second dream again. Dream, Daniel's kingdom is too big to fail. But God told him in a dream, dreams are realities. Are you hearing me now? Dream are what? You think it's just a dream. No, dreams are reality. I dream to get here, if you don't know. It's not, nobody pay my ticket. Nobody pay anything. I dream to get here. I dream to get here. There is not, no place you cannot get to in life. If you can dream. But one of the things you must remove from your life is pride. What do I call it? Pride. What do I call it? Pride. Uh, pride is the one that... Because the kingdom is too big. The kingdom is too big. And then the Lord brought him down and finished him. He showed him the dream. He said, you are going to eat with... How can a big king like this went into the bush and become an animal? That's to show you the power of dream. The mystery of dream. The mystery of dream. So please talk to yourself. You have uh, five houses, ten houses, twenty houses, big mansion. You better talk to yourself. Don't let me talk to you. Talk to yourself. Say, I will talk to myself. Talk to myself. Uh -huh. I remember one of my son, he said, Oga, he said, I have to talk to myself. Because the way you play, you play, the way you just do things, and you are too, if when you are, there is no ourself, the way you are doing, you will make people just slap your face and just joke with you. And he said, but I have to say, <laughs> let your head correct you. Don't call me. See, I see me. I see this man in box, boxer, and now now begin to you no. Know, he said, I have to talk to myself many times. Please talk to yourself. Glory be to God. Number two things is doubt. Doubt. Powerful doubt. No matter how the dream look like, no matter how God has finished it, when you doubt, you stop it. The dream is still there, but you stop it. Dreams don't die, just like war doesn't die. They are the mind of God. Their spirit, spirit don't die. But doubt will stop that dream to come to pass. Number three, things that will stop a dream is fear. What do I call it? Yeah. I'm dealing with it every time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No matter how high you go in life, you have to deal with fear. You have to deal with fear. No matter whether you are pastor, founder, general, overseer, fear still come. But you have to deal with it. Number four is complain, complain. God, permit me to use it. God hates complain. It doesn't like it. It distresses you. Thank you. God doesn't like complain. These are things you have to wipe out of your dictionary and out of your life. If your dream must come to pass. You know the, the time, how many of you remember the time of coronavirus? You still remember it? I mean, people say pastor, pastor. Pastor, I know you are a man of faith, but watch CNN. I say I watch it. <laughs> they say this thing.
things are real. I say, really? I say, God is real too. You remember that? You see, <clears throat> to shake me from God, I don't know what you are going to do to me. I don't know. Because I don't know anybody. I have no connection. I don't know anybody. The only person I know is God. And I've, I've seen him. I've tasted of him. So, okay, what will make me change now? Eh? I mean, if I was to be with my friends in Akure, I would be in, in the village right now. In the, maybe the farm somewhere. Okay, if I was to be with my friends in, Dub in Abuja, uh, I would still be in Charlatan. Because some of them are seeing Charlatan. Now, if I say, okay, now, okay, now, at least I've got some promotion. I was with my friends in, uh, in Dubai. Some of them, have, they've already gone back home zero on the zero level. How did this boy navigate this way to where we are going? Because you have not seen anything yet. <laughs> How did this boy dream? Somebody say dream. Doubt not. I don't doubt what God has shown to me. I don't doubt where we are going to. No matter what. No matter what. So I said, no, no, no. Nobody that I know will die of coronavirus. How many of you remember that? Uh, I didn't say nobody that I know in this church. Show. Nobody that I know. And I didn't doubt it for one minute. One of them, I remember, uh, they say, maybe as a symptom of this thing. And I carry my nothing hurt. Are you, so, are, you, are you okay? My wife asked me that. Okay, why do you have to go physically? Why can't you pray on the phone? Is it God that is leading you? I say, yeah. I say well, it is God that is leading me. <laughs> it is God that is leading me. Uh, I understand that. Cause I say, you know, no problem there. We have four rooms, four rooms in the house. I can go somewhere. You can sleep in your in your room. So that uh, if you are not feel comfortable, that's okay. I'll walk with you. When they are, anoint every member of the family. I don't understand. I never see it in my life. I cannot see coronavirus. They say one day, Don G. Lake went to South Africa. I said, South Africa, somewhere like that. And there's one disease that was in there. He said, put it on my, on my skin. And it didn't dry. That's the kind of voltage. You should carry. I should carry. Dream that way. Think that way. It can be happening to anybody, not me. Say it can be happening to anybody. anybody. Say not me. The day the church will discover, the day the church will discover, ye are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, I mean, you quote it very many times. I get, you will get it one day. <laughs> Glory be to God. It's a very nice quotation. Ye are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is what it was. Coat, 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 coat. Coat is good. But when you come to the manifestation and the relation of these things, they intoxicate you like anything. They intoxicate you. And people can know it. Because, okay, why would they call me to come and pray for someone that is in another state? When there are people in that state, people will know. They will know your, they, they will know your belief. Stand on your belief. Stand on God. The purpose and the mystery of dream. The purpose of dream is for us to bring into this reality that we call reality. Are you getting me now? What you know what we call into reality now is when Rakan come. You see now. I touch him now. That's reality, Abby. But when he's sitting down there, I I can also touch him. That is as real as when he comes here. That is what is called dream. If you can't see vision, vision is a dream too. But when you go to bed tonight, I say, Lord, this mystery of dream. Because all these pages of the Bibles are dreams. For example, when you look at uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 50, 53, it's a dream. It was Bruce for our iniquity. When you see that, and you see yourself present, it becomes reality. You think it's just a quote and writing, they write in that place? No! It's a dream! Just enter into the dream! You know, many years ago here, I think it was Monday service, then you know, we are still uh, thinking how to pay the rent. We are thinking how to to put gas in my old, uh, those cars that is shaking, to put gas there. Then I came here one night. I didn't even know what to enter into me again. I think the Holy Spirit again. I said, you know, the Bible says, wherever the sole of your feet has touched, I've given it to you. Is that what he said? I said, then if you don't, I said, then we are children of Abraham. And the, all the land that belongs to Abraham belongs to his children forever. And I said, but I'm a children of Abraham. How is it that I will not have land in America? And I've been here over four, three years, seven years. Something must be wrong with me. Hello? So that's a dream. It becomes real to me. And I see myself in it. Today is a story. Today is a story. Like that. We not, we don't pray about those things again. When you enter into a dream, you don't pray into it. That's your reality. In that dream, King Nebuchadnezzar 
saying himself that he's going to be an animal. What happened to him? It's real. Dreams are real. Say dreams are real. Make it real. Make it real. Tell somebody now to say make it real. Make your dream real. Make your dream real. Make your dream real. Make your dream real. Dreams are real. Don't think you're just uh, sleeping there and just uh, <laughs> to, to sleep and wake up. No. Wake up into a dream. And when you see any evil, in fact, you should not be dreaming evil. But if you, if you dream, and listen to me, well, maybe we are going to go into this thing. You know, you know <laughs> uh, what's his name? Peter, in the Act of Apostle, uh, chapter 10, I think maybe read from verse 9, uh, God showed him a, a dream. And he said, I can't eat something that is not holy. How did you know? Some people, you see, maybe in your dream, you see a peak. You say, the wish has come. Oh, who told this wish? Because that's what, they've written a book and say, anytime you see a, a peak in a dream, is no. Get understanding what this thing means. Seven candlestick. I saw the, the earth and the heaven fly. Is that real? Is that real? Ask, ask the Holy Ghost to give you. And God told him, whatever I've made clean, don't, don't call it unclean. Stand up and eat it. God is a mystery. God is powerful. You see, God is powerful. We are living in, please, get away from this ordinary life. Get away from this ordinary life. You know, I was talking to myself, you know, because maybe one of my tenants, they didn't pay their rent. And then, you know, I've seen the other pastors, other landlords say, you know, they took their, their tenants to court to go and fight for eviction. So I was talking to myself. I said, but this is not the kind of person I used to be. That's not the kind of person I now belong to go and fight for this thing and run into court. No. I should be able to be in my house here. Appear to the person in the night and they'll pack the load and go out. Look at me. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Now I'm going to file for a case and fight for this thing and I'm standing there by running to go and pay money. Ah, no. Jesus don't do it that way. No, Jesus don't do it that way. One day they arrest Jesus. They want to throw him up, he said, upside down from the hill. The Bible says, he stood and walked away from them. That's the way to do it. That's the way to be Christian. We are, the, the level we are living is too low now. I don't know how we get here. I told myself, you, are, you, are, you, need, to, you need to wake up. Oh, this, is not, this is not the way. Don't follow. Don't be a pastor. Because you know when you become a pastor, you just plat, you, you plateau there and then you two are doing praise and worship and doing this thing. No, come on. <laughs> People are suffering. People are sick. People are not safe again. We need to do something, man. Let's pray right down to your feet. I want to talk to God this morning. Lord, take me to this dimension. Take me to the dimension of the spirit where I can take over my city. I can take over the territory. I can change the young people, young, young men and women. That when I speak, everybody is changing. Everybody is surrendering to God. They are surrendering to Jesus. When my word goes out, it becomes an authority. When my word goes out, people are beginning to repent and cry on the way. Everywhere I speak, oh Lord God Almighty, I speak my word into their ear. My word is arresting men and women and bringing them to Christ. I become an authority. I have dominion. What am I do with my dominion power? What am I do with my dominion power? My world is a dominion power. My world is an authority in my city, in my nation. Everywhere I open my heart, people are surrendering. People are changing. People are changing. People are repenting. People are changing. People are repenting. Anywhere I open my mouth, anywhere I open my mouth, I speak your word. People are changing. People are repenting in the name of Jesus I dream this I dream this this is my dream millions of people are surrendering to God they are surrendering their life they are repenting of their sin they are repenting of their way this is my dream this is my dream millions are gathering and miracles are happening healing are happening everywhere this is my dream oh Lord this is your dream your dream become my dream your dream become my dream. Your dream become my dream. I walk in your dream, O oh Lord. I walk in your dream, O oh Lord. I walk in the realm of the spirit. Santa La Eleke Parakata. Manse Kotokoto. I see sickness walking out of people's body. Walking out of their body. Walking out of their body. I saw the blood system changing now. Their blood system changing. Ekushanaka. Erukatakata. 
Erukatakata. Power in the body. Power in the strength. Power in the vein. Power in the marrow. Ekutokete. Every strength in the body of men and women are flying away. They are flying away. They are flying away out of their body. 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 They are flying away. Ekutelekete. Ikatakata. Ha 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 ha. Eruka papa pa. Sakata ma. Elikete. Elikete. Kashaka. Ekoto. Isakata lakata. Orikete kete kete. Ayanta lakete. Olikaparia. Oh sokoto. Mekete kete. Maka. Elikeria kasha lakata. Leruba ba 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 ba. Elikete kete. My children are making progress. They are making progress. Everywhere they are making progress. Wherever they saw, that land is handed over to them. Ikashakata, Erukata Baba, Elikete, Ekutekete. Governors are coming out of this source. Governors are coming out of this source. House of Rev are coming out of this source. Ekutalakata. Cancelor are coming out of this source. Erukatakata. Merustaka. Hele. Ekete. Stars everywhere. Stars everywhere. Among our children, among the women, among the men, stars, stars, billionaire of this world, we are taking authority. We are not begging again. We have left that place of begging, begging, begging. We are now in charge. We are in charge. This is our dream. This is our dream. This is our reality. This is our dream. This is our reality. Ekeshekoto. Ekeshekete. Ekeshekete. Narustaba. Neketekete. 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 Ikatakata. Elukorokoto. Ziga gaga 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 gaga. Ekoto yiketekete. Mandoloria ya nalaliye yele. Ila ezule gele 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 makata ekoto kete ayakari kata blessed blessed be your name. I want to pray this morning. Say, I dream. I see my business prospering. I see my business prospering in billions of dollars. In billions of dollars, the project is processing. The project is pro. Prophecy is, 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 is moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. My business prosper, my career prosper, it prosper. I speak prosperity, I see prosperity, I see it now. I see healing, I see abundant, I see abundant, I see abundant. Everywhere I see abundant, everywhere I talk, I see abundant. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed, blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to lay your hand on yourself. And you are going to dream now. You are going to pray now. You are going to say, my father, my father, by the power of the Holy Ghost that lives inside of me, I see evil fly out of my body. I blood pressure flying out now. Sugar diabetes flying out now. I see it. I see it. I dream it. I see it. I dream it. I see it. Every tree that my father has not planted. Every tree that my father has not planted. I see it in a dream. They are uprooted now. 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 Begin to see it. Begin to dream. Begin to see it. Begin to see it. Begin to dream. Begin to see it. Begin to dream. Eketelekoto. Ikatalakata. Ashankoloko. Erukatakakakakaka. Esakatakatakakakakata. Elikatakakakakakaka. Blessed, blessed be your name. Thank you, my Father. We worship you and we adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to pray. And as you want to pray, prayer, you want to stretch forth your hand into in front of you. You are going to say, My Father, my Father. 
Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. In this month of June, I see somebody. I see people congratulating me. I see people congratulating me. I see people congratulating me. I see people. I dream. People are congratulating me. Congratulate my children. Congratulate the man. I see congratulations. 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 Congratulations, 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 congratulations. I see it, I dream 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 it. The pastor, congratulate me. The pastor wife, congratulate me. The sister, congratulate me. The minister, congratulate me, congratulate me, congratulate me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.